Accommodations operation is one of the core subjects which you're going to learn in second semester if you're planning to join the Bachelor of International Hospitality Management in Taylor's University. I bet you must be wondering what accommodations operation is all about, right? Well, it is designed for students to gain insights of the organization structure as well as the role of the room divisions departments, which consists of front office and housekeeping department, both very crucial departments in every hotel. Front office section is provide the students the knowledge of four cycles, which you can see in the hotels from making a room reservations to guest departures. Good morning. Welcome to the Events Management Degree Program. Okay, in this module here, we are providing a basic introductory module for the students in which we try to provide them with an overview of the event industry. We have areas relating to uh, event types where we introduce the students to different categories of events like weddings, formal events such as business events on corporate launches, media launches and also festivals and meetings. In this particular module, it's divided mainly into two sessions where we have the first half of the semester in students looking into the overall event industry which covers on uh, festivals and more of non-formal events and then the second half of the semester, the students will look more into detail relating to meetings. Meetings which also include incentives, uh, conferences, seminars, conventions, as well as exhibition. Because it is an introductory model, it provides a stepping stone for students who are going to be progressing into year two, where they will be touching more on modules in detail relating to the management of event operations, entertainment, as well as their live event project in their final year. Have you ever been invited to a party and you decided, well, I'll bring a bottle of wine? And so you go to the supermarket and you walk in and you have red wine, white wine, rosé wines, different prices. What's good? What's bad? Or have you walked into Starbucks before and the barista asked you, would you like a latte? Would you like a decaf? Half and half? And all you wanted was a coffee. Or what about the obesity epidemic that's going around? And people say it's due to soft drinks. Is it true? Questions, questions, questions. Well, if you have all these questions, you've come to the right place. Hi, welcome to Taylor's University here at Subang Jaya in Malaysia. We're a new university located at the lakeside and we are so pleased to have you and welcome you. My name is Reuben Arthur and I'm a food and beverage lecturer here at Taylor's University. I've been teaching for the last 18 years at the School of Hospitality, Tourism and Culinary Arts. And today I've been asked to talk about a wonderful subject called Beverage Studies. Really exciting and if you're interested in the beverage world, welcome and join us for a wonderful time. My name is Patrick Dyer. I'm a food and beverage lecturer. I'm honoured today to share with you about Food and Beverage Operations 2, which is in the Bachelor's of Hospitality National Program and also Culinary as well. This program is created especially to give an idea to students the meaning of managing a restaurant, the meaning of service. When they come to a restaurant, there will be a restaurant manager appointed. When they come in, the manager will do the planning on the whiteboard together with their team. The job delegation includes items like preparing the glassware, the bar, the cutleries, the crockeries, and the napkin as well. 